Hello, welcome back. It's Monty. Um, so today is going to be another little project share using some more of um, my design team package from Scrap Diva Designs. This is Erica's website and here is all of her social media. So let me show you a couple more things um, from this um, that I received from the um, from this release for November. Um, thank you, Erica, so much for all the things that you sent me. I really appreciate it. Um, some really fun dies this time. So first up, I wanted to share with you the, um, it's the Memory Dex Gingerbread Shaker. Look how cute this is. I made a cute little shaker. It comes with this word sugar and spice. I layered it up. Um, <clears throat> It's a really pretty font. Um, it has a layering piece back there. Um, it has the gingerbread. That's, it's part of the Memdex, but you could always uh, trim if you didn't want to use that. And then you can also um, use the, um, you know, the ornament piece separately if you wanted to. So really fun. So I um, just made some poinsettias um, out of a die I already had in my stash. And then I used the elf bow up here. Um, again, this is um, a snowflake from Crate Paper collection that I'm using. Older set. I don't have very much of it. I have three or four designs of the paper and one sheet of chipboard. That's all I have. <laughs> so I have to kind of um, look around to, um, you know, add things to it because I still love it. I um, wish I had some ephemera or stickers or something, but anyway, that's all I have. So I make do and just kind of pull the colors in with some of the other plain card stock and stuff that I have in my stock, uh, you know, my stash. So anyway, I made a shaker, put a bunch of little shaker bits in there. This gingerbread has like the embossed piece of the eyes and the mouth. And then it comes with a little um, bow tie you see right there and the little dots, you know, for his buttons. And then like the, let me see if I can clear it off, like the, the little frosting piece for the arms and legs. So that's the only one you can really see out of that. But um, this one, I also um, put another circle on the back and cut it in half, made it a pocket so I can stick another little tag down inside there. So really fun. Um, these little things I have sticking out here, these are pieces of the um, uh, nut, Mr. Nutcracker cake. It has all these little swirlies and different things um, to layer on the cake. But I thought it would kind of look cute. It kind of looked like some little swag trim things for me, uh, to me that like you see in the, um, you know, like in the floral section. So I added a couple here and there. So I thought that turned out really cute. So that's my first one. And then I did another one. So here's this one. Now this one, um, I made a shaker also. Um, it's, it's the part of the, um, you know, it's the Memdex, full Memdex piece. Added just a bow that I had in my stash up here. Some more, um, poinsettias for my stash, um, little gold balls. I used the word mistletoe right here. Um, that's um, one of the word dies from this release also. And then what I also did was I kind of paired it up with this, um, see these, all these little branches here. That's from the, um, I think it's called branch and ornament wreath set or something, something similar to that. So it's got a couple round um, pieces that have these uh, sprigs on them. It's got a plain round piece and then it has a bunch of little other sprigs that you can just add on top. So I cut that one out twice and then layered it up and then I layered up, you know, my other bigger flowers on top of it. So I think that turned out really cute. <laughs> I noticed after I got it all done that I forgot to put all the stuff on the gingerbread man in there. <laughs> so he's a plain gingerbread. He hasn't been decorated yet. He just got baked. So anyway, there's that one. I think he turned out cute too. So there's those two from the um, Memory Dex Gingerbread Shaker. And then I also made, um, let's see, I don't know if I showed you guys this. I think I, I think I posted this on Instagram, but um, I want to show you on video also. So this is the um, Mr. Nutcracker cake. So he comes with all these pieces um, to make his face and, and the little, you know, the top of his little hat thing there and then all the pieces to layer the cake and um, 
It turns out so cute. I love it. He's really cute. It's the second one I made. I made this one first, just trying, you know, just putting it together. Um, but I didn't like the way it turned out. And <clears throat> I think I had too many patterns and stuff to where you, it was harder. I think it's harder to see that it's a cake. So anyway, this one, this first one, I also made a card. Stamped it inside. Um, I stamped the stitched layer piece. Um, put one of those on top of the back layer just to make it sturdy. 110 pound cardstock, cut in half. Um, you know, folded in half to make the um, to make the card. So anyway, that was the first one. I wasn't even going to share that one, but uh, I like how this one turned out much better. Um, you can see the cake. You know, better tell that it's a cake and that kind of stuff. And I popped the, his little hat part here up on foam so it'd be raised and. I changed things up a little bit. I used a couple different stripes and and um, did a little bit of inking. And there's this. I put that on foam too. The little cherry on the top of the cake. This one I also made a card. This one I made a top folding card. And I just stamped "Joy to the World" inside. Again, I layered another piece with a stitched layer to make it more sturdy. So there's the card that I made. And then the last thing I have to share with you today is um, using some more of the um, uh, the Christmas words from the Christmas word set. I think these are the ones I use. These are from word, uh, set one, okay? So these are some cute little tags that I made. Now they're wood tags. Um, let me see. I had this set. Um, it's a pack that I had um, <clears throat> in my stash for a long time. Um, but a lot of the colors didn't go with what I was using, so I wanted to cover them up. So what I did was use um, this set from the last year's Halloween um, stamp and die set. So I used these two pieces from it, and I cut out this one. Um, that's the little swirly one, you know, the scalloped one around the edge. And then I layered up <clears throat> this one that comes with it on top. So I have two layers here, and it's covering up <clears throat> um, the wood, you know, the colors that I didn't, didn't want, okay? So, and then I used the, um, the Christmas Word uh, Jolly from the Christmas Word One set. And then I, a um, little, uh, you know, a little snowflake from, I think it's, either Hobby Lobby or something, and then a little gold star that I had in my stash, and then the cute little um, flower I just added on top, and then I left these so you can tie it onto a package. And then so on the back, I just did the one layer, and I stamped to and from on it. Those turned out cute. So there's another one. So I just made a bunch of them. Different, hey, Pixie, give me back that. <laughs> Pixie just took off with this one. That cat, oh, I always find my stuff laying all over and she's taken off with it. There's that one. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's this one. So they're pretty much all, you know, basically the same, just different, um, but different paper layers. No, Pixie. There's that one. And that one. Didn't they turn out cute? So those are my little um, tags that I made using... Um, some of the, you know, one of the words from the Christmas words one set. And then this one is using the Mr. Nutcracker cake set. Okay, then we got the um, Memory Dex gingerbread shaker. So cute. We got the elf bows. Okay, here's another word from the Christmas word set one. So uh, lots of fun dies in this release. So make sure you guys go check out Erica's website. I will have it linked below. <clears throat> so it will be easy for you to get there. I will um, uh, put my affiliate link down below also. So that if you decide to purchase anything, um, use my link. And it will share a little bit of the profit with me. I really appreciate that. That when you guys do that is so helpful. Um, so thank you very much for those of you who, who have done that. Um, be sure, if you decide to purchase anything, that you use my code, POCA10. It will save you 10% off 
um, your whole order um, at the end. So make sure you put it in. It's Polka 10, P-O-L-K-A 10. I will also have that listed below. I will link all the dies. And thank you so much again for watching. And I'll be back shortly with more. Thanks, guys. Bye.